How's it going trainers and welcome to another Pokemon Go PvP video. Today we're going to be going over the brand new Sorceress Cup. This cup was announced yesterday and is going to be the Sylph affiliated cup of June. Uh, of course it's going to be Pokemon under 1500 CP as always so in the Great League. And if you look to the left of the graphic here you're going to see that Pokemon allowed are Ice, Poison, Fairy, Psychic, and Normal Typings. There's going to be bans on Dugong specifically. Alolan Raichu, poor surfing little rat, um, and second move Pokemon above 50,000, so 75,000 secondary charge move Pokemon, 100,000 mythicals, legendaries, and so on. And also bans on shadow Pokemon, that's actually pretty huge because we don't need no shadow guard horror in this cup, that would be no fun. But yeah, so it should be a really interesting cup, we're going to go ahead and jump into uh, a meta infographic I have, so we're going to start with what I like to call the four houses. So you can think of it kind of like Harry Potter. We're gonna have four houses here. So we have the purple on the left here is gonna be the house of poison. On the next one on the white, we're gonna have the house of psychic. In the blue, we're gonna have house of ice. And on the far right in the pink, we're gonna have house of fairy. <laughs> there we go. So. Going into it, just because they have this house symbol isn't going to really relate to what I have on the Meta Simplified. I just wanted to be kind of funny. So <laughs> let's get into it. On the bottom left, far, far left of the House of Poison, we have the Grass Poison types. Yes, Abomina Snow is not a Grass Poison type. I'm aware. But it's a Grass, so it's in there. Uh, I'm going to be honest real quick. Grass isn't that great in this cup. I really don't think it's going to be that great. Uh, the top ranked, according to pvpoke.com, check them out is gloom gloom so yeah gloom is gonna be great vile plume victory bell not shadow shadows are banned and a bomb to snow and what they're gonna be good for is countering stuff like the water poisons uh flying types like noctowl and golbat and uh just kind of niche scenarios they'd be good against uh the fairies like especially azumarill so they have their role but what they do is served even better with different Pokemon in the cup, as we'll go ahead and move on to. So going on to the top of the purple house, we have Tentacruel and Quillfish, and this is the water poison category. And what the water poisons do, and it's really, really important, is they counter the poison darks, and they that's really all they need to do. They're poison subtyping pretty much walls, the fairies, and Tentacruel especially is probably the hardest counter to Azumarill. So if Azumarill shows any real preference in this cup, Tentacruel is going to be very, very crucial. So really, really good Mon, really tanky. I, I think it's going to be a force in this cup. Now we're going to move down to the bottom right of the triangle. We have Alolan Monk and Skuntank. Uh, Alolan Monk currently is ranked number one in PV Pokes rankings for the Sorceress Cup. So take that with a grain of salt. It is really, really good. I love using it in Go Battle League. It's probably the safest switch in all of the cup um these poison darks are only have a weakness to ground so they're going to do really really good against most confusion users they're still going to do good against claydol which is a sub ground typing but you're gonna have to watch out for earth power uh, otherwise they're good as generalists against just about everything they're great against the ice ghost types the confusion users um even the fighting types like metacham and alakazam but they're really really good and they're really good just for general um, coverage. Moving on to the confusion users, we have Hypno, Claydol, and Bronzong on the top of the Psychic House. Uh, Claydol is a bit more of a wild card pick. I decided to include it because of its ground subtyping to deal with the poison types as well as the poison dark types, especially. And I figured it would be a good addition just to go ahead and throw in here. But Hypno is the the cream of the crop is it, going to be fantastic. Confusion, Thunderbolt, Shadow Ball probably is going to be the preferred move set, I would assume. Uh, Thunderbolt for the flying and the Azumarill and Shadow Ball for everything. So it's going to be really, really good. Uh, I'm excited to see how Bronzong does. Bronzong uh, recently, but not too recently, maybe a few months back, got Bulldoze introduced to, into its move set, and that's going to be really, really good in this cup. Uh, ground type damage is a staple to beating the poison types and yeah, it should be good uh, The confusion users are good against pretty much all of the sub poison types like the water poisons and the grass poisons uh, they're good against the fighters and Yeah, that's they're, they're good as always so. 
Next up on the bottom right of the Psychic House, the white triangle, we have Munchlax and Licky Licky. Uh, these are the normal typings, and what they're really, really good about is they have Lick as their fast attack, and Lick allows them to annihilate the confusion users. And they're really, really good as generalists. They have uh, access to Bulldoze, respectively, for Munchlax, and Earthquake, respectively, for Licky Licky. And Licky Licky has Shadow Ball, Munchlax has Body Slam, which is spammy as heck. It's, oof, they're really, really good, and they do well against the Poison Darks, the Confusion users, the Ice Typing, amongst others. They're, they're really good, and you should definitely make a Munchlax, just saying. Next up, on the top part of the Ice House, of the Light Blue Triangle, we have the Ice Subtyping. We have Frostlass, Glalie, and Alolan Sandslash, and... What they're really, really going to be good for is walling the confusion users, especially the ghost ice types. But Alolan Sand Slash is a bit more of a niche, thanks to its ground charge move, Bulldoze, again. It's going to have a lot of good coverage in the cup, I think. So they're really, really neat. They're going to be great against the grass types. They're going to be great against the confusion users and the flyers. So yeah. Next up on the bottom right of the light blue triangle we have the fighters the fighters are going to consist mostly of toxicroak and metacham toxicroak is pretty much a staple in pvp as a whole so far you're definitely going to want counter mud bomb and sludge bomb just like always it has access to ground charge move in mud bomb so as i've said already ground is going to be really really good in this cup thanks to the prevalence of alola muck and skun tank and just poison types in general so definitely a good mod Metacham should be interesting. I think we're going to see less Ice Punch and we're going to see more Psychic as a charge move. And it's going to do really, really good against, again, the Poison types as well as an answer to Psychic types to be able to slap back. So it'll be neat. I included Alakazam in here. And again, this is a bit of a wild card pick. But thanks to the recent Community Day, it has Counter, Fire Punch, and Shadow Ball for a move set. So whew, I could see that being pretty good in the cup, especially if... Ice becomes really, really prevalent, or Grass too. The Fire Punch will deal with that. The Counter will do good against the normal subtypings, and the Shadow Ball is good against everything, as we've already said. So we just gotta see how how glassy Alakazam really is. I guess is what's gonna determine whether it does anything in the meta. Moving on to the top of the pier of the pink pyramid, we have the Fairy types, and I'm sure, as you can guess, Azumarill is the best. It's the best. It shouldn't even really be in this category. It should have its own. Uh, yeah, it's a fairy, but it's running bubble. And what bubble is really going to allow it to do is uh, kind of have more of a general coverage that charm users necessarily wouldn't have. It's still going to have access to stuff like play rough, so it'll have that fairy type damage. But really, what Zuma really takes as an advantage in this cup is the fairy subtyping. So allowing it to resist psychic types and such, but it does open up that huge weakness to the very prevalent poison types in the cup. So we'll see just how important it is in this meta, but chances are it's going to be pretty big. Uh, otherwise, we have Wigglytuff and Clefable, which are really, really great um, budget moves, both 10k extra mods. They're, they're really good. Clefable has access to Meteor Mash. Don't sleep on that. And then we have Charm, uh, Alola Ninetales. It's just a cool one to use, so, you know? Lastly, on the bottom right of the pink triangle and the entire graph, we have the Flyers in Noctowl and Golbat. Uh, Noctowl is going to really have a huge advantage in the fact that uh, Vigoroth is pretty much screwed out of this cup since it's a 75k extra move. It's finally going to get a chance to shine. It should be good against the Grass, the Fighters, and so on. Golbat's kind of more of just a budget option to spend less dust, so Flyers should be neat. Now we're going to go ahead and go into a little bit of extra coverage just to show what the uh, typings also can hit just because I didn't want to put a bunch of crazy arrows going across everything. But additionally, the fairy types are generally good against the confusion users. It's kind of dependent on the movesets and dependent on IVs, but for the most part, the fairy types should be able to handle the confusion users. And then you can see that the water poison types should be able to handle the ice ghosts or just the ice types and the grass types should be able to handle the normals. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.